Shut up and while I'm talking, right? Point. Yeah, I mean, there's a dual problem, yeah. right? Does God punish you for sin, or does he punish you for not loving him? Or is not like, obviously not loving him is a sin, right? But it's not the same type of sin as um, every other sin, right? So you don't have to, like, protest when somebody says you punish, God punishes you because you don't love him. Why are you protesting that, Emmanuel? Because that's wait. an evil God. Yeah, I just want to run a wait, very, what, what, a very why quick that, wait, on Emmanuel. Why is that... Yeah, yeah. So, so I just want to run a very quick argument to Emmanuel and see which premise he denies. So premise one, anything that the Christian God is an infallible moral agent desires is something that cannot mm -hmm. fail to be realized in all logically possible worlds. P2, the Christian God desires for his creation not to sin. Conclusion one, the Christian God desiring for his creation to not sin is something that cannot fail to be realized in all logically possible worlds. Uh, conclusion one, two, uh, P3, if the Christian God exists, then it is the case there is no world where his desire for his creation to not sin is not realized. P4, it is not the case there is no world where his desires for his creation to not sin is not realized. C2, the Christian God does not exist. Three, four. Uh, I, I didn't get all the numbers, but the part where I would disagree is the fact that you even say it's logically possible for God to realize a world where uh, his creation doesn't sin. It's That's logically impossible. If, you, if you're given well, wait, free will... Does he desire his creation to not sin? Oh, yeah, he desires the creation to not sin, of course. But what's more and, important... And so he's an infallible being, right? Wait, so he's an infallible being, right? Mm. Why do you say infallible being? I mean, well, that's just what he is. That's what the Christian yeah, God I, I, is. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm. I'm you disagree? I don't yeah, disagree. So, I okay, agree. I'm so, just... so great, right? But I just so want to know where you're going. So if an infallible being, how, how do you understand an infallible being other than their desires are always realized? Well, to be honest, God's um, actual goal is he... Remember, he knows all things, so he knew that um, people... Well, I, so I don't care what his actual goal is, right? But I, I just want to understand what it is you're even saying. So if we could be clear, how do you understand an infallible being if not that all of their desires are realized? Yeah, one that doesn't fail in any in any of his goals, but God, God has a fundamental goal. Remember, we're talking about logic. So certain things are illogical, so but like God... You, you you can't like logically you cannot have something you cannot have free will and be able to choose and and assume no, I, and, I don't think and I asked about free will. So the question is just like I'm so I I'm just trying to understand what you mean by infallible, if not that his desires are always actualized. He does uh he doesn't want um it depends on what you mean by actualized because that's why I was trying to make a distinction between God's um, greatest goals and God having other goals. Of course, he doesn't want people to, to sin, but he knows that they will because they're not perfect creatures. Right. But the perfect goal was for Jesus to come down and to save us. That's the fundamental goal. It doesn't need, not every desire that God has has to be actualized. I don't even see why that's the case. Right. Yeah, that it's would more have to be the case. Why? Then it would imply because then it would imply that God fails to achieve His desires. Yeah, but the thing is, whether God has a like, remember, we're talking about what's logically possible. So the most important thing to God is the most important goal, and the most important goal was the fact that Jesus was to come and save us. That would be the most important. Okay, but goal. hold on. So wait, but you, what's logically possible? So it's not log. It, it's not logical to say that an all-powerful being wouldn't want his creations to follow his desires of them I, to obey and worship him. The, fi the fact that you bring in all powerful power, power would bring no difference into logical possibilities. I, I just don't understand. Right. So he desires people to not do something and people do that thing. So he failed, right? No, he doesn't fail because he has a, he has a, he has a goal that he, was still able to achieve. It's the final goal, which well, is the most important. Well, then he doesn't desire. Okay, so he wanted that's something to desire. happen. You're, so no, you're no, no. saying you're saying he wanted something to happen, 
right? right. And it didn't happen. Right, but the yeah. thing is, the, so, mind, so, uh, the, the thing is, the mind of God want to ask, uh, the did Jesus goal. Christ say like, like that? Did Jesus Christ uh, say like that? It don't like because you're you're using minor goals as if they mean anything. The minor goals don't mean anything unless the major goal isn't fulfilled, and the major goal was. So it doesn't even matter if the minor goals weren't fulfilled because the major goal was no, fulfilled. It's like no, it's like it's, no, it's like losing a battle way. but winning the war. The battles were no, not the war was won. Oh, that's yeah, a contradiction. That's a it contradiction. Just, yeah, it doesn't work. Wait, wait, the why is that a contradiction? Thing, yeah, it's, because if yeah, any, if God I, it failed, doesn't work like that. Fallibility... Like building and simple, it just doesn't work like that, right? I don't take like a hierarchy of desire and, um, you know, there's going to be like only a few desires that are actualized, right? Like That's right. I, I'm not saying that... Um, I don't you know, like, issue. Like, because I, you're I, saying I, God, ha you're saying God yeah, well, has conflicting so, desires. So issue, one desire issue, takes priority or issue, another, issue, but that doesn't matter if God's is I mean, also, actual, what you're doing is you're tearing your whole thing down by saying you, God, God desired. God, sorry, sorry. So, so, so the, God, issue, God, the issue is. You cannot have look, people look, yelling at a man you got once. Okay, Altoid, can you just talk for a few minutes? Because I think you're on the right track. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, I mean, that notion that, oh, the, only the most important desires have to be actualized to be an infallible being, right? Like, I, that's not the case at all. What, what's necessary is that all of your desires are fulfilled for you to be infallible, right? In, in some, at least, like, minorly relevant sense. So I just don't understand how you mean um infallible if not that every desire that you have isn't actualized i right, mean if it's in his can nature can i just it, add one sentence to that so uh, no, I, I just want to add, so, add one so sentence to that yeah I, I just wanted to finish if i i just wanted to finish right so if if it's in his nature to have certain desires that he can't actualize um then he is by definition fallible right by the way, if the fallibility is to do with logic, I have no issue because if there are certain things that can't be logically done. But if it's to do with um, outside of, uh, if it's nothing to do with the logic and it's and and God is able to do that, there is no issue. That's why I keep saying no, that. No, that doesn't address Altoid. Address Wait, Altoid. but I I think yes, I don't I, think the quest. I don't think the issue. If he desires something that's impossible, I don't think the issue there is that he's. Um, Can I just add fallible. one sentence? Uh, I think I was, I was the, to why, why is it why is it I'm being overtalked? Um, I think that if if he desires something that's impossible, that would just be irrational, right? So God God clearly could not desire something that's impossible. But right, right, I right. think but there has been a claim, right, which was made that it's not possible for God to create a world where free beings um don't sin right right um now i don't see any reason to accept that no argument has been given for that claim and it's a bizarre sort of claim to make given that god has free will and given that presumably in heaven creatures are free uh and never sin so i don't know why anybody would say anything like that what would, yeah, be, what would be the logical can I, can contradiction? Why, would be, why, why is that it that is people? Why, why do I? Why do I keep getting views? Oh, yeah. So yeah. So so it's I'm not understanding. Crap. I'm not understanding why it would not be possible. And because I think one simple way to pose the problem is if you understand God's omnipotence as being able to <clears throat> actualize any logically possible world, and if it's actually logically possible. For free beings not to sin, then why couldn't That's God actualize that world? Yeah, so what's the contradiction? There isn't a contradiction. Right. I, could. But I said this earlier. Well, that... To be clear, the verses don't say free beings. They had a word for freedom, they didn't use that. They said knowledge of good and evil. So when we use the term colloquially free will, but what we're really saying is the choice to engage in either oh, good or serious. bad. Yeah. All right, never mind. I don't want to talk to you, your name. <laughs> Um, can, I, can, so, I please say something? can I please can I say something real quick? I've been trying to say for several minutes, okay? And at the bottom of all of this, Manuel, is if God wanted his creations to obey him, 
why did he create them in a different manner? That that speaks to his not being a yeah, but let's, let's just to let's just stick to, to the point. Him. Wait, let's first of all let's not. Um, that is the point. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Question you guys should be Michael, asking. Michael is just an idiot, so let's just ignore him. Is that right, what you let's say get when you manual, don't have a good Let's let's get hey, Emmanuel. Yeah, I'd like to ask him when we get a chance. Let's get a manual to explain to us, right, how it is that God could desire something that's impossible without being Much irrational. Much easier to pick on the Christian. And and um, to tell us um, why it would be impossible for God to create free creatures that always choose the good. Wait, uh, the, the first thing I need to ask is what would be, uh, I need to understand what you mean by irrational. Yeah, so it seems to me that if I thought something was impossible, um, I couldn't actually undertake an action to try to bring it about. Right? Because I can only act to try to bring something about if I think it's possible to succeed. Like a free right. being that so, wasn't free. Yeah, so, right. So Is there depends. any way to mute, Michael? Yeah, Because this guy is complete trash. In every room, <laughs> every time he participates, he just wastes everybody's time. <laughs> no way to like, remove him from the stage or mute him. I'm not Emmanuel. interested in... Let's just let Emmanuel answer because he did make the claim that right. uh, it, that first of all God can't get all his desires filled, and the question is, well then why so does he desire them? That he's not infallible. And then the second one is, um, why could he not create creatures who would choose the good? Right. So when it well, comes there's, to your there's there's no that uh, let me clarify. So one point is that he can't desire something that's impossible. That would be irrational, right? Second thing is there's this claim on. There's this claim on the table that it's not actually possible to create free beings that don't sin, right? And that hasn't been defended. Uh, and, I mean, it flies in the face of the fact that God has free will and doesn't sin, and that there are free creatures in heaven who don't sin. But then the third point is the point that uh, Altoid uh, was making, um, which is that... Um, God is an infallible being, right? And so if what he really wants is a world without evil in it or without sin in it, right, and if he aims to create such a world, then he could not fail. So those are the three issues. Uh, I don't have a lot of time, so we're going to have to do this another time, but I'm going to still say my points and say a couple of things. I should have gone ages ago. But um, when I was talking about uh, irrational, right, it, it depends on what you mean by uh, irrational, right? So, yes, by definition, it would be irrational because, yeah, it would be impossible, right? But the thing is, it's not necessarily What, what would be impossible? The, the, the fact that God wants people to be in a certain way that they can't be, right? It's, it's, no, 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 it's, but you're, you're making the claim that there's something, I take it that the claim you're making is that it's impossible to create for God to create a world in which beings don't sin, right? No, no, that's the other one. That was the second thing you gave me. You were talking about the first which, one. Which part are you saying is impossible? I, I'm talking about the, because the, you said God cannot desire things that are irrational, right? No, no, I said it would be irrational to desire something that's impossible. Um, okay, I, I, I kind of disagree because um, it, it depends it depends on the overall situation, right? We're talking we're talking about a particular situation. You need to get to the overall situation. The overall situation is the fact that uh, Jesus is the, the end goal to the fact that even though humans are not perfect and God desires humans to be perfect, the end goal is to get Jesus. That's the end goal. Right. Look, here's a way to think about it, right? What would it mean to say that um, some state of affairs is desirable that doesn't exist in any possible world? What state would be desirable? You Say that one more time. What would it mean to say that some state of affairs is desirable that it is not instantiated in any possible world, right? There's no world in which that state of affairs 
um, is actual, right? Well, it has to be logically possible. No, my point is if it's not logically possible, right, there's no possible world in which it's true. Okay, but I, I don't see I don't see where this it's is. It's kinda going. like saying that a square triangle is desirable. Does that make sense to you? Well it, it would depends. be a great thing if we could just have square triangles. Yeah, well it depends. The idea what is similar to what I'm saying is the square triangle, if possible, there would be a way of bringing it about to existence. Obviously the square circle is When you impossible. say if possible, right, you're just contradicting yourself. The whole point is that it's not possible. So when no, you no, say it, a world in it, which there are square triangles, that's called a counter possible world, right? Right, so what I was trying to use with the square circle is yes, it would be impossible, but I was using an example because the example of a square circle is not perfect because what I'm saying is one part is impossible, but there's a way of making it possible, right? Where the square, square circle example is just impossible. What? I don't what? know what you mean by making it impossible. What do you mean? It's, it possible. Either something's either possible or it's not. That's the thing. You said to say if this depends and this, but the, so, we're talking so, about logical but, possibility. But yes. It's not, there's, it's closed. It's a, no, no. It's, Listen, there, 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 something's either possible or it isn't. Yes, and I do agree, right? And even if you want to go with paradoxes, which even that's a different one. But um, what I'm trying to say is God wanted to make, um, um, God wanted to make people love and desire him right but when you have free will that makes it impossible because there's still a possibility where people will go against god right no, 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 and the... no, 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 no. it's a logically possible state of affairs for all beings that have free will to love god there's no contradiction there no uh, there's no contradiction but i'm saying it's impossible well what modality are you talking about when you say it's impossible the fact that human beings are not perfect by definition. And and what I mean by that is the All fact right. that... That's not an answer to my question. You didn't understand my question, did you? The imperfection modality. He's saying, is it logically impossible? <laughs> is it, you know, metaphysically impossible? What, like, how is it impossible? Yeah, but see, this is, this is why you're not... You're just not being honest now, right? Because if you didn't understand my question, you should have said, well, what do you mean by that? I actually thought right? I understood your question. I'm not Do you know what I mean by a modality? Yeah, a type of a type of way of existing. No, that's not what I mean by modality. What do you mean by modality? I'm talking about what type of possibility is being talked about. Right. So give him the options. Okay, go on. He could mean he could mean that it's logically impossible. He could mean that it's nomologically impossible. He could mean that it's metaphysically impossible. I'm not sure what that means. Or but he, he might mean something like that. He could mean that it's doxastically impossible, that it's epistemically impossible. I'm talking I mean, about. I guess those would be the main impossible. candidates. I'm talking about the logically impossible, based on ontology. Yeah. So logically, that's why I said to you, there's no contradiction there. Right? I didn't say there was a because contradiction. Yeah, that's what it would mean for it to be logically impossible. No. Is that there that there's a contradiction? No. You can have something that's impossible but not a contradiction. Look, That's different. if you don't mean by logically impossible that there's a contradiction, then you're not talking about logical modality. You're using that, you're using that name, logical modality, to refer to something else. And I when have I'm, no when idea I'm using, what that is. When, when I'm saying contradiction, I'm saying contradiction in the sense of impossibility on ontology. That's all I'm saying. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Look, so, uh, you have two, I'll, I'll, prop, you have two propositions that contradict one another. If those are those both can't be true at a single world, right? That would mean that such such two such a world in which both those propositions would were true would be logically impossible, right? Because there would be a contradiction. That's what I mean by logically impossible. Wait, wait, what are the right. two, sorry, what are the two was that impossible? No, we're talking about a single world, right, in which two propositions that contradict one another are both true. Jack, okay, said, Jack said, Jack said that it's not a contradiction, that there could be a possible world where uh, everybody had free will, but they still always made the good choice. 
basically right, or they love God. And you, and, you said that that, and you said that wasn't possible, Emmanuel. You're saying that's impossible. Maybe it would be easy just to tell us why you think it's impossible. Well, just tell us what two propositions contradict one another that would both have to be true if God were to do that. I'm saying the fact that human beings have the possibility of going against God, right? The fact that one can go against God is the possibility of um, choose the fact that one can have the possibility of choosing evil and not being like God that always chooses the good. That's the possibility. And I'm saying it's impossible for a human being to. What's always the contradiction? Choose. I didn't well, say it was a contradiction. Means, I'm saying it's impossible. I don't think he means, look, you you said mean, you said that it's logically yeah, impossible. Yeah, I don't think he means right? that. Yeah. So what the fuck that. does he mean then? I don't know. Maybe physically impossible. <laughs> What's so physically they, impossible about that it? That they can't physically do it? I don't know. I'm just trying to help him out. I don't no, I mean, I don't mean to get angry at you, uh, no, Haiti. But I don't I, I'm yelling means... because this guy is just completely dishonest. Well, no, I just don't think Why do you think I'm dishonest? What, what, wait, possible. what's my thing about being dishonest? But just, because know. What, we just what explained to you what logical impossibility was, right? And so you keep saying this is impossible, right? And when we asked you what modality you were talking about, you said a logical modality, right? But if that were the case, then for it to be impossible, it would have to entail a contradiction. And you're denying that there's a contradiction there. So obviously you're not talking about logical modality. I'm right? saying to the human standards of how God created us, yes, that's what I'm... And I'm not using the word contradiction. I'm using the word impossibility. Yeah, I'm asking right? you what modality you're talking about. What modality in the sense of possibility, is that what you're saying? Yeah, you understand right. that there's different scopes of possibility and necessity. Do you understand that? Give me the possibilities again. Look. We're not going to spoon feed it to you, dude. Yeah, you don't what know. difference does it make? You're I'm the only one saying that so I know claim, what you're talking right? about. Because you're going to say that I'm being dishonest and I don't know what you're talking about. But when I'm trying say, to understand you. When you, you say something is possible, what the fuck do you mean by that? The fact that human beings are not created, I'm saying the fact that human beings are not created in a, in a, in a, no, I'm not asking you that. I'm not asking you that. I'm asking you, if you say X is impossible, what the fuck does that mean? Jack, you need to calm down, man. So Why should I calm down when this guy is totally dishonest? He doesn't even know what the fuck he means by impossible. Wait, 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 hold on. Emmanuel. What difference no, does it make? No, no, wait. Hey, 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 like that online, but not in somebody's face. Emmanuel, is it yeah, like saying? Like Can we mute this this person who's shouting? I'll mute myself, but I'm just okay. letting you know. You talking okay. like you just you shut up? Something. Nobody's interested. Is it like saying, Emmanuel, it's impossible for humans to fly? Wait, that... I can't... Yes, that that's what mean? I'm trying to say. That's okay, what yeah. I'm... What does it mean to say that that's impossible? But it's not But it's not. What does it mean to say that that's impossible? Wait, but is it con is it a contradiction? Think of value. No, dude. obviously not, not... it isn't. So, so, right. So, so, why, so that was my point at one point, and right. you didn't understand that. So and you're you saying can... I don't understand you. I'm asking right. you what you and mean I'm... when you say something is fucking impossible. And I'm saying. How many times do I have to ask you that question? Right. You're acting like a little child. You're acting like a little child. Don't get his way. No. Wait, let Can me ask Can somebody him. shut me... this person up who keeps interfering? I let me shut myself let me... up, but you're acting like a little... You keep saying you'll shut yourself up, and then you suddenly start interfering again. I'm, I'm, talking, about, I'm talking about the probability, right? Of the, well, of you're the... saying that possibility is probability? No, I'm using probability... I'm using Jesus. the probability of the fact that human beings can... Why can't you just be honest and say you don't know what the fuck you mean when you say something is impossible? Why can't you be honest? I, what the fuck is your problem? Understand impossibility. You're saying, I'm, you're saying I'm being dishonest. Literally. How many times have I asked you what you mean when you say something is impossible? What the fuck does that mean? How many in times have I asked you that question? Sense, I'm going to ask it sense, again, okay? And I want an answer to of, just that question, right? In the sense what does of it mean to say? What does it mean to say that anything is impossible? What does that fucking mean? If we're talking about ontology, right? right there's no possibility for it to occur. And now we have fucking idiot Michael chiming in. What the fuck is this? Some kind of circus? Yeah. Okay, much. Jack. Let me ask you this. Let, let me ask you this. What's the difference between impossibility and contradictory? There can be impossibilities that don't require contradictions in other modalities besides logical modalities. Can you give me an example of something that's impossible that is not a contradiction? 
yeah, there are things that are physically impossible, right? Like presumably I can't fly by flapping my arms or something like that. Right. So are you saying it's physically impossible? Is that the kind of mod is that Yes, the that's what I'm trying to say with the nature. Well, what natural law does it contradict? It's the natural law of the way God created us. What are you talking about? That's just repeating the claim. I'm asking you what law is it? Wait, 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 wait. If the same way laws, the fact that we cannot jump up and down, sorry, we can't, we can't fly, but we can jump up and down. I'm saying God creates the, the laws, right? Yes, but you, so he could laws... have created, he could have created a world, right, in which it didn't contradict any natural law for human beings to always love him freely, right? There's no, there's no issue with that, but the fact that human beings are. Okay, if we're, if so we're the not, question we're is, go... why would he create laws? What do you mean laws? there's no issue of that? That's what you've been arguing why would he the whole time. Laws? Why would he create laws which guaranteed that human beings would sin? I mean, I'm still not clear what these laws are, but let me just grant you that for the sake of argument. There's some kind of natural law which compels human beings to sin, right? Why would he create laws like that? Uh, because that's how God's nature is. That's just how he is. And that's who he is. So you're saying for no reason. You're saying for no reason. So wait, 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 hold on. Wait, the problem is, even if God did find a way, find ways that we would, um, what's it called, uh, be able to, to do it, it doesn't change much, right? The, the idea is, the, the oh, I'm even trying to remember what I was saying. I've even forgot what I was going to say now. I had the point to this. I'm even trying to remember. It's fine. I'll bring, I'll bring yeah. it up, up. I think your point was is that God created humans in this way that it's physically or naturally impossible for them not to sin. And that's right. just what that's just what you think happened, right? But right. Then why, but but you would agree he could have done it a different way. Yeah, yeah, but that's another thing. That's 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 another issue. I'm trying to remember on if if, if the well, I mean, maybe this will I, help I, you remember. Maybe this will help you remember because Jack's claim was that there could be a world where God made everybody with free will, but also that they always make the right moral decision. And you disagreed with that and said that's not possible, and that's where it all started. And that's why he wanted to know what you mean when you say right. something's so, impossible. So it seems sort of circular, so, so, right? You're no, saying it's, it's not possible because God didn't do it that way. No, God no, it's not. It's, it. it's 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 not. It's not even that because God could have easily desired uh, a, a thing. It's it's a state of how human beings are not like God or not of God. Just to give an example, mm -hmm. um, uh, human beings have sin and we are corruptible by definition. No matter what we do, we can we can never be that. Uh, we can never be perfect when it came when it comes do, to human. Do you believe in sin? Do you believe in heaven? Yeah. Yes, of course. Do people sin in heaven? No. Why the fuck do you fucking say such stupid stuff like this? Right? It's wait, not wait, possible wait, wait. for him to create oh, beings like this, wait, wait, and they hold, don't hold, sin in heaven, right? Hold, hold, hold didn't on, I fucking hold, just hold, say? Hold, didn't I fucking just heaven. say that it was possible? Right? Wait, 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 could. wait. Hold, hold, hold on. When it comes yeah, to the, when it comes to he, when it comes it. to heaven, when it comes to heaven, the possibility is the fact that we're connected with God. It's different from the fact that we're not connected with God, and the fact that we have the choice. Right? There's a period of time. But I'll give you an example. Why uh, is that when, required? Uh, I'll give you an example. Yeah. Why is that required? I'm gonna tell you. Hold on. When it comes to when when it when it even comes to angels, right? The devil himself, the concept of the devil right still went against god right and he didn't go against god straight away it, it's not a thing that happened straight away because he was obedient to god right so but there was a period of time where he fell right so it has nothing to do with the fact that um obeying god would be the impossibility we're not Look, perfect you're like not understanding the only the reason problem. why shut up i'm going to explain to you what the problem is the worst thing right. is i understand the you're point. claiming you're claiming it's not possible for god to create beings that don't sin yet you're granting that there's such a thing as heaven in which human beings don't sin, right? Now, what I'm asking you is, why is it the case that God didn't create heaven to begin with? The, the, uh, Jack, the ones in heaven are redeemed. We're All right, now we've got fucking John. Now we have okay. fucking John. 
No. So very simply, Jack. No, why are we listening to this? Theology, proper, why are we listening to this idiot? Because why we can't. That's why. Fucking, kind of nobody heaven, fucking Jack? wants to hear what you have to say, John. Yeah, shut because, up. Hold on, hold on. Can somebody wait, shut him up, please? Wait, can somebody wait, shut him up, please? When we are in, when we are heaven, we are can somebody clean, shut up, John, Jack? please? We are slaves to righteousness. Haiti. Can I, can I answer the question? Pim Pimothy, Pimothy, I'm, Pimothy, I'm driving. Pimothy, I'm driving. Can you, Pimothy, Pimothy, I'm driving. Can you please mute anyone who interrupts? Thank you. Yeah, I, I, what I was going to say is when, when, when we're in heaven, we're in the desired state of God, so we're connected to God in a way that is uh, different. The whole concept of Christianity is having the Holy Spirit, so having that connection when we're dead with God. So Just we would always the pick. claim. Yeah, you're saying it's a claim, that. but that's the understanding of Christianity. I'm asking you why God didn't create heaven to begin with. Because if 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 heaven was in that state, we would automatically pick God. That's the whole point. And the whole point is we're having choice. We have to have choice first before acceptance comes what after. Is it that, what is it that prevents people after they've picked God from sinning? What do you mean? You say these people are free, right? So why right. is it that they aren't free to sin? What, in heaven? Yeah. Oh, because we're connected with God. That's the whole point. The difference between... The why difference between, didn't God create creatures that were connected to him to begin with? I don't get it. Because you can't... Because the, the logic of Christianity is you cannot... Uh, if when, when, pick, when you're free, right? If, if, if we are connected with God and there is a heaven in that same sense then we wouldn't have the opportunity of choice, right? God wanted choice. You do that was have the opportunity point. of choice. No, you don't when you're connected with God. Look, right? The, 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 what do you mean? The devil, the you devil was saying, an angel that left God. Look, of course he had a choice. And he no, chose but, to leave no, heaven. You and you God. They, even angels were not connected with God in the same way. You haven't even explained, right, why it's impossible for everybody to freely choose God. You said that it was physically impossible right that it violated some law right but right the point is god created the laws right so he could have created things in such a way that it was not guaranteed that people sin and yet we're free right you're, you're missing the point i literally tried i'm asking to... you i'm at here's the question <sighs> right what is the reason why god cannot create laws such that people aren't guaranteed to sin whereby they always freely choose the good or only always freely choose god he could because that wouldn't we, be freedom he could he could but he it could do that yeah yes he could do okay, that so it's not impossible he could it's not do impossible that. right we agree it's not impossible right depends on what you mean by impossible in this state i'm, a, I, I'm asking you what you mean by i impossible. would love I've to ask you that 20 fucking times you. yeah so it's not naturally impossible or physically impossible, right? Because he could have created different laws, right? So with respect to what is it impossible? So the fact of choice. I asked you with respect to what is it impossible? So the fact of choice. What does that mean, the fact of choice? Is, is it logically required that if I'm free, I sin? No, the fact that you, no, no, no. Freedom is not the issue. It is. What it entails is the, sin? It, it is the fact of choosing God or not that can what entail entails sin. sin. Okay, sorry. What entails that I don't choose God? The, possi the possibility of the fact that um, you could go against God. That, no, that, no, that in, doesn't in, follow. If it's possible that I go against God, it doesn't mean that I do. Yes, you're right. But when it comes yeah. to... So that, that's, that's what why, I'm asking hold you on, to hold explain. Hold on, I'm... That, that's when it comes that's why i keep saying when it comes to probability right that the fact that um, i didn't ask that, you if it was improbable I'm, i asked you if so it was that impossible is the answer to it that's literally is it the is it is it impossible or not is it impossible or not of course it's still it's 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 impossible if we're not of uh, it's impossible when we're not connected to god in that same sense if i'm give, asking you if it's possible Right for all creatures to freely choose God. Of course, it's possible. Okay, great. So now you're contradicting what you said earlier, right? 
We went through this when I meant, uh, no, fucking uh, 20 no, minutes, no, no. right, of garbage let me finish, in which you said me, it was impossible. No, let me now clarify you're saying myself. it's possible. No, let me clarify myself. It's impossible in the sense of an overall status. That's why I kept using probability. We didn't, you kept saying, I'm not talking about improbability. I'm not That's what asking I mean you, by improbability. I'm not asking you whether it's improbable or not. So stop bringing that up. I am I'm asking no, you no, no, whether I'm it's impossible. You. I'm not asking you to say I'm bringing improbability because yeah, improbability not, is. Don't bring it up because that's not that's relevant. That's the answer. Though. I'm asking well, you whether it's impossible or not. It depends on what you mean. Based on what do you mean by impossible? Based improbability on doesn't mean impossibility, right? Those I know different that. concepts. I okay, know so stop that. bringing up improbability. I'm bringing it up to give you the answer. You're not understanding me. I'm asking you, when you say it's impossible, what the fuck do you mean by that? I'm trying to tell you, but you 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 literally don't understand this. It's 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 possible, right? In the sense of the fact that yes, let's use Adam and Eve. Adam did at one point could have not picked the apple, but what makes it impossible is the improbability of what um, eventually sinning. When it comes to God, is God's something goodness is that is. There's probable. something being probable. Make it probable. Yeah, does something yes. being probable entail that it will happen? Do you know, I actually... Sorry that it won't we, happen. If you, if you, wanna, if you have yeah. this conversation next no, time... No, I don't want to have this conversation next time. You're just com fucking completely dishonest. Well, you're probably worse. I can't even lie. Let's yeah, and what, and what did I say that way, was way, dishonest? Way this, did I fucking contradict myself and say... Did I fucking contradict myself and say... Say you know. that something was impossible that you then just even turned out to be improbability and impossibility. You're the one who's saying the two are, are yeah, equivalent. you don't know the difference. You you're fucking whatever. idiot. You don't know the difference. You're, you're are they the dumb. same thing? Lie. Are improbability whatever. and impossibility the same thing, dumbass? It's pronounced Duma. Sorry. That was painful. Well, um, I don't know, like. Did, did he get that, the British that. guy? I don't, that was listen, good. I don't know if he was being dishonest. I think he just didn't understand. Right. I don't think it was deliberate. I really don't. He's just his theology was flawed. Yes, what is this yes, retard? This retard that, in the chat. This retard in the chat saying, "Why are we allowing the atheist with no epistemic justification for his consciousness to scapegoat our position?" What the fuck oh, is that? You mean? Epistemic. I, mean, I, I, I can help you guys with your questions for our consciousness. Is, yeah, well, he probably believes in the consciousness. Or is he just an idiot? He's just Who a fucking it? idiot. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, the only sense that we're free is we're free guys are like a pack of wolves. Don't you already okay. have to use your consciousness in order to give us? Uh, That's the only freedom we have. And shut up, John, before I fold you like a chair again. Okay. Again, yeah, I'm glad. Yeah, again, that was a again. Down, I bet you'd like that. Why, one, why, Jack? Why didn't you just give him my arguments, right? Where if God, if God is an infallible moral agent and he desires for his creation not to sin, then in all logically possible worlds, his creation doesn't sin, right? Think outside. You but if he thinks right? that, one sorry, of the if he thinks that there's sin, if he thinks that there's sin, then. Uh, either he's going to be committed to the view that sin exists and God is fallible or God is infallible